All right, come on, Tyrese Halliburton. You cannot lean towards the screen. Let's take a look. Look at him leaning that way. So now you get beat the other way. That draws a double team and turn out the lights. Okay, the Pacers hedge this ball screen, but you cannot go under when you hedge. You've got to go over the top. You have backside help right here with Miles Turner. But as soon as LeBron James pulls his dribble back the other way, okay, he just did. Boom. Now you should be able to be recovering. And again, this player's up so he can guard one-on-one. -on -one. But you went under the screen. <laughs> what is this Pacers defender doing? Why can't you just guard Patrick Beverly normally? If he comes off the screen this way, great. Our ball screen defense will execute. But look at Again, you're leaning towards the screen. And now that draws a... Uh, what is going on? What is this ball screen defense by the Pacers? Stop. I mean, are you switching? Then McConnell needs to get underneath the screen. If you're hedging, get up. Force Westbrook out this way, and now you need backside help on LeBron. I mean, what? what is this? This is crap. Rotate to the ball. So right now this Pacers player is guarding the ball, okay? So now the ball gets rotated to the corner. Stop. You need to drop with the ball, okay? Because look where you should be. Stop. You should right now be here, halfway between the ball and the three-point line. So when this player comes this way, there's nowhere to go. I can stunt. I don't have to move my feet. I can recover. But you don't rotate. I mean, if you're this Pacers player defending in the post, you, first of all, this player needs to communicate that he's coming over to help. So this Pacers player knows I need to force LeBron this way where there's help. I mean, God. Stop feeling out screens. If, guard the ball. If you get screened, our ball screen defense will execute. But look at this Pacers player. See how he's feeling out an Anthony Davis screen that never gets set? So, <laughs> okay, this goes without saying. It's a baseline out of bounds. If your buddy healed, please get uh, in front of your man. Right? I mean, what is that? Okay, so you go to double Thomas Bryant. You're close out here, and this player should be communicating this, but you've got to close out on LeBron and force him to the middle of the floor. See, look at this close out right here. Stop. You need to be up and forcing him where this help is. Right now, and this player can get up the line. But you can stunt. You can easily recover. But you close out the other way. So now this help has to come in the paint, and it's too late to get out. Not be lollygagging back in transition. This is the player you're guarding, so get over here right now. The ball's across half court. You don't need to worry about being in the gaps. But look, 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 at, look at how lazy this is. Okay, you've got to double this. This is not going to work, okay? LeBron James in the post. This is a very easy double. They've isolated the floor. So bring this player over here, and you force LeBron this way. Then this player rotates. This player gets up and rotates. This player rotates, this player rotates here, all in unison on this first kickout pass. But, I mean, this is just, you can't, it just can't be allowed. Okay, if you are switching this screen, this player for the Pacers needs to get underneath the screen or right now, Anthony Davis. you got to be battling for real estate and initiating contact now. Watch this switch on Anthony Davis. I mean, look at this. You're just letting him get way too low on the floor. Cannot run drop coverage on this ball screen. Miles Turner's got to get up. Okay, you got to push him out this way. You got backside help for Anthony Davis. This player can guard these pay, uh, Lakers players two passes away. I mean, that's just it. You can't run drop coverage. Because now this player's going to have to come all the way over and double, and you're going to leave LeBron James. So, yeah. You cannot run drop coverage on a ball screen this low. Honestly, you probably need to switch, okay, you can maybe get away with hedging. I mean, again, push Russell Westbrook out. You have backside help right here. This Pacers player can guard these Lakers players two passes away. Okay, you can probably get away with that. But you're running drop coverage. Look at this. This big's got to go towards the ball. So Anthony Davis is rolling. There's no backside help. And now he's caught the ball too low. Okay, if you're Benedict Matherin, right now you need to get underneath Anthony Davis and start battling it for real estate and initiating contact. You just, look, you just, just can't happen. I mean, you can't just be comfortable with Anthony Davis in the charge circle. TJ McConnell wants to front the post, and this player's got to step up and backside help right here. 
Okay, you're, this player takes Thomas Bryant. If a skip pass is made, then this player rotates out, and the man in backside help comes back here. But if you're fronting the post and you have backside help that is way late arriving, it's just over. Okay, so they're going to double the post here uh, right now. And LeBron's going to ask for a repost entry here. So this pass is getting made. You cannot relax. You have got to get up in LeBron's grill, initiating contact, battling for real estate. You have to. But this Pacers player gets comfortable. Look at this. Look at how he's letting LeBron initiate contact. Okay, it's the dangers of fronting the post. This is why I would always rather play underneath. Battle for real estate, initiate contacts. We can send a double team. It's got to come pretty immediate, but you can send a double team if you're underneath LeBron. If you front the post, like Andrew Nemhard's about to do, look at this. If Anthony Davis, you can't have backside help if Anthony Davis comes and flashes to the middle of the floor. Like You need backside help right now. You can have it now, but look when this ball gets entered to uh, Anthony Davis. Stop. Now you can't have backside help. That's the dangers of fronting the post. All right, you're leaning towards the screen again. Look at this Pacers player right here. Look at him leaning towards the screen that way so you get blown by the other way. And right now, you have to get underneath Anthony Davis. You have to battle for real estate and initiate contact. You can't just allow Anthony Davis to hang out in the paint. Look at this Pacers player. Like, what are you doing? Okay, so you double Westbrook in transition. Now this pass is out. You got, there's got to be communication right now, okay? Is this player staying with Russell Westbrook? Please say something. So this player knows to go here. This player's coming here. But, I mean, look at this. You got all these Pacers just standing around in no man's land. These Pacers players cannot be backpedaling in transition. You got to sprint back. We got LeBron on the open floor here. We need as many bodies. But look at this backpedaling. So if anybody of these players have been just been sprinting the whole way, they're around here. And now Miles Turner can get up and have no fear of getting beat because if I'm forcing LeBron this way, there's help. But I mean, these two players are totally useless right now. And it's bang, bang, three. Stop running drop coverage. You need backside help on Anthony Davis, and oh my God, the floor is clogged. So get up. Force Russell Westbrook get this way. There's no place for Anthony Davis to roll to. The backside help is right there. But nope, you're in drop coverage with no backside help on Anthony Davis. So now this big's got to recover, and Anthony Davis is in the charge circle. It's too late. Your idiot ball screen defense just lost you a game. 